Hey y'all, today we're making chicken fajita casserole. Okay, so you're gonna need one can of chicken broth. Now I started out measuring this because I found a recipe, but I ended up changing every ingredient in the recipe. <laughs> I changed it like different amounts or actually different, complete different ingredients. So I end up using the whole can. You'll see that in a minute, but you're just gonna need the whole can, okay? Just go ahead and add the whole can in there. Then you're gonna need one can of cream soup. I'm using cream of mushroom. You can use cream, whatever you want to use. Now, I know a lot of people don't like cream soups and freak out when I use cream soup and I, you know, to each their own, right? So if you don't want to use it, you want to find a substitute and you know a substitute that works better, feel free to use it. Or if you want to make yours homemade, you can do that too. You know, whatever you want to do is your recipe. So anyway, then we're going to add in one cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. Now, it called for sour cream. I didn't have any sour cream, but I did have this yogurt, and you can use these pretty interchangeably. I don't care for sour cream anyway, so I can't say it tastes exactly the same, but I don't notice a difference when I use Greek yogurt in a um, recipe versus when I use uh, sour cream. So, use sour cream if you want to. I used Greek yogurt, and it needs to be the plain greek yogurt don't get vanilla <laughs> please don't get vanilla so i went ahead and mixed this up a little bit because you know i didn't want hunks of cream soup over here or over there or whatever i just thought it would mix easier if i mixed a little bit along the way you know so now we're going to add one can of i'm using great value obviously but these are like Rotel tomatoes, like the tomatoes with the green peppers in them. So, the green chilies. So, just add one can with the juice. Then you're going to need one onion chopped and a bell pepper chopped. I didn't feel like chopping, but I had some stuff in the freezer. So, I used the seasoning blend and I used a little bit of this diced green bell pepper in addition to what little bit of bell pepper was already in that onion mix that I had. But you can use whatever you want. And then I added in a pack of fajita seasoning, <clears throat> excuse me, and I didn't feel like that was gonna be enough for this big old bowl of stuff. So I had another half pack that I had used in another recipe, I had half of it left. So I went ahead and added that in there too. So pack and a half of fajita seasoning. You can also use enchilada seasoning if you like that because I've used those two interchangeably before but that's just me maybe you don't want to <laughs> that's just how i do it so mix that in good then we're gonna add in some instant rice okay i know somebody's gonna freak out about instant rice too but that's what the recipe called for i did you know go by that much of it because if you're gonna use real rice like the you know long you know long cooking rice <laughs> then you're gonna have to add more liquid to this so I went ahead and just went with the two cups of instant rice that the recipe had called for. So mix that in, get it all good and mixed in. And did I tell y'all to preheat your oven to 350? I think I might have, but if I didn't, there you go. 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you're gonna need about four cups of shredded chicken. I cook big packs of chicken in my crock pot and then I just shred them up and put them in Ziploc bags and throw them in the freezer. That's easier for me, but you can use rotisserie chicken. You can use chicken thighs. I just used chicken breast. You need four cups of chicken. Use whatever kind of chicken your little heart desires, okay? Then you're going to add in half of this bag of cheese. So it's an eight ounce bag of cheese, and I think there's two cups in there. So you're going to use a cup of cheese that we're going to mix in with it, and we're going to save the other cup to put on the top or you can use more cheese. Now y'all know I always say that you can't have too much cheese, but me personally, when I eat fajitas, I don't use cheese in my fajitas, so I didn't want to put a whole, whole bunch of cheese in this fajita casserole. This is when I called an audible and decided to add the rest of that can of chicken broth. <laughs> After I mixed it up, I was like, I don't think that looks like enough liquid. So I didn't want this to be dry, so that's why I ended up using the whole can, okay? So once I got everything mixed in, I went ahead and seasoned it up a little bit. Yes, we added the pack and a half of fajita seasoning in there, but I just felt like, I don't know, it just needed some more. So I added Old Faithful, garlic, onion, salt, and pepper. That's what I added in here. 
You can add whatever you want. You don't have to add anything extra. Actually, I did not add salt. I just added garlic, onion, and pepper because there was enough salty stuff with the cream soup, the broth, and the fajita seasoning. I forgot about that, but I just saw myself do it, so it must be right. So, don't add any salt. Salt, I mean, pepper, garlic, and onion. Okay. Then you're going to need to grease a 9 by 13 pan because this makes a lot. But you could definitely half it if you just need half of this, okay? I made it, and I ate it for a week. I'm just telling you. I ate it for a week, and it was good. I had it for lunch. I had it for dinner. <laughs> it was a big pan, and it is so good leftover, too, y'all. So dump it into your 9 by 13 pan. Like I said, make sure your pan is greased. We don't want anything sticking. And then just spread it out as evenly as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know. It's casserole and it ain't got to be spread out perfectly, but you know, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to spend all my time <laughs> trying to spread it out perfectly. And I will put this in the Taco Tuesday playlist and link that for y'all too, because I got a lot of good little Taco Tuesday meals. So once you get it all spread out, you're going to take that other half of that bag of cheese that we saved. You know, we put half of it in there and mixed it in, and then we're just putting this other half on top. And then I just kind of spread it out. Like I said, you can use a lot more cheese if you want to. You could also use like pepper jack cheese on this. That would be really, really good. But I didn't have any. I just had like this mixed shredded cheese. So that's what I used. I used what I had. If I'd have had just plain cheddar, I'd use that. But pepper jack would be really good on here since it's sort of a Mexican-ish dish, you know. So then you're going to cover this, okay? Because we want our rice to cook, but we don't want everything on top to burn. So cover it with some foil. And then we're going to put this in the oven 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes. Okay, just watch it. You don't want it to burn. It'll, it, I mean, it's going to kind of steam under that foil anyway, so you should be fine. But check it after 40 minutes if it needs a few more. You know, add a few more in there. So in the oven, when it comes out, you're going to take off the um, aluminum foil and then you're going to pop it back into the oven just until the cheese is as brown as you want it. Okay, that's all we're doing. Back into the oven because it's pretty much done. We're just kind of browning the cheese. And that's it. So I know it might sound a little strange to be putting rice and all that stuff in here and all these tomatoes and this fajita casserole, but I am telling y'all, it works. This is so dang good. If you've never made this, you have got to give this a try. Okay, that is all I have for y'all today, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.